Hi there, welcome back to It's Only Paper. Um, today I'm going to be working in one of my uh, little golden book journals that I made. If you'd like to see a tutorial of this journal coming together, I will leave the link down below. I'm actually going to be using a paper collection today from Doodlebug Designs. Um, I got sent this from Paper May, so I will leave this as an ad gifted. I really, really love this collection when I picked it out. The colours are just me. I love the colours. It is supposed to be a Valentine's collection. Um, it's called Lots of Love. However, I'm not one to kind of stick to a theme. I have no plans to use it as a Valentine's collection. It's the colours that caught my eye. I picked up these stickers as well. I love a good alphabet set of stickers, so I thought these would be fun. But it's definitely the colours and the theming. It's all just so, so cute. Really cute. I love the sheet with the journal bits. Um, it's double-sided, so that's quite nice because you can cut bits out and then still have a pretty back. And I've also got the 12 by 12 sheet. I was going to say of stickers. These aren't stickers. These are strips of <laughs> stickers. There's a sticker set somewhere here. Here it is aren't these cute so I'm going to be playing with that today going to be doing some pages about our Florida trip and I've just printed off loads of photos back them onto white card for my white borders that's what I'm going to be doing today I may well do a couple of pages what I'm actually thinking I started this journal recently it was this page here I'll leave a link to this in case you haven't seen it and I've kind of made a mistake. I need a page for like our pre-travel day and then I want to work on to like traveling and then when we arrived and I kind of haven't left myself enough pages which is so annoying. So I'm going to be creating my own kind of extra page as well. So I'm going to do that. Let's decide. I want to use these. I love these. And I do really like this paper here. I'm not as fussed with this one. I like it, but not for this particular page. So I'm kind of thinking about having something that flips open. I don't know. I really like this one. And what was the other one I was wanting to use? Oh, it was that one as well. Don't you just hate it when you... Oh, actually... I was going to say, don't you just hate it when you love both sides? This could work really well because then I've got both sides. Yep, I'm going to use both of these. I'm going to have a big flip out, pulley out page. That's what I'm going to do. It's decided this is going to be fun. I love this page so much that I have decided to use this for both flip outs. Is flip out either a word for a pulling out page? I don't know. Right, let's have this. I want to make sure it doesn't stick out. Actually, this could work really, really well. Let's fold this over like so. I'm getting excited about this page. This could go on here. I really like this. I might just trim that down a little bit. And then we'll use this as well, top and bottom. How about that? I'm going to get some fancy edging with my border punch. I am excited. It's been a few days, actually, since I've done anything creative. We went to Disneyland Paris last week for my birthday. And then I got back and I've had a cold since. And if you know me... You know I do that every single time we go away, which is really annoying. And I just haven't felt well enough. I was going to journal all weekend and do nice things. And I really, really didn't feel like it. It was so annoying. So this is going to go on like this. I fancy a little edge. That would look quite cute. But I did also fancy an edge using this as well. So I'm going to do this one too. And then I've got the choice of both of the edges. Now, you know how much I love a border punch. 
are there any that you can recommend to me are there any that you've got that you think i would love let me know i'm always up for recommendations so i'm thinking i want to pop that on there so that when this flips we've also got that on there that will look really nice um shall i staple or shall i glue i'm going to stick it on with this that's what i'm going to do um, i've also got something else i'm going to add to this page which i'm really excited about i picked up this off the plane that came with the afternoon tea so i thought i might cut some of those out um, see how that goes it's always fun to add other bits and pieces doesn't that look cute that makes such a difference doesn't it i'm going to do that on the other side or shall i have this one on the other side yeah let's do that so we do this exactly the same on here i think this is gonna look lovely i just love a cute edge it just makes such a difference like that and then this can stick on there and I've just made that too big. All right, I'm going to, have to change that up a little bit. That's all right. That's the good thing with this kind of thing. And then it hangs over the edge slightly, which I love. That's fine. It all worked out fine in the end. I now need to attach that, and I think I might do that with tape. I do quite fancy having something else, though. Yes. Let's pop that on there. I think that will also look really nice. How wide is that? There, I think that looks really nice. I'm going to attach it with some regular tape. I'm just gonna do a little bit just for the time being. And then I can always add some more once I know I'm happy with it. Ooh. And then that sticks out slightly, which I love. But it doesn't stick out quite as much as it did the first time round. I do also have this. Oh, I quite like that idea, actually. Yes, although I'm not as fussed with it that side. I might leave that for the time being. Just have it there. Um... No, I might actually, this might even look cute on that side. I'll leave that for the time being. Right, let's start putting this page together. I've decided I'm going to create a little bit of a pocket using this here. I think this could work really well. Just a little bit of tape on here just enough to be able to slide the photo in but I want to be able to see some of the pink here so let's turn this around like that I like that there I think that looks really nice and then this can slide in and out I really like that um, I'm going to back this on to some of the other card I think actually even some of this might look quite nice um, and then add a little tab I think so that can pull out um, I'm kind of doing it in order. I might, I'm just trying to think, I want to do it properly. I want to have like an intro page and then a page when we arrive. So that gives me that extra space. So I'm kind of doing it in order. We've got the plane. We've got, um, where was my lounge? I had a photo somewhere of us in the lounge. I seem to have lost that. I need to find, oh, here it is. So we've got the lounge, we've got on the plane. Um, so I'm going to need to add a little pocket somewhere as I've got more photos than space. Yeah, I need to have a little play here. Then we've also got, could actually put some of the, I want to make sure I've got enough space for my journaling there. I'm really pleased with how that's gone. This was the other page that I was really excited about. I particularly like this one with the heart kind of like floating. It's like a balloon which works really well with us being on the plane so i'm going to take that and i'm actually thinking about creating maybe a pocket down below 
or something so that I can pop bits and pieces in. I think that might work really well. I do really love the memories, however, I'm not as fussed with that pink. The red spotty one could go quite well as well. What's on the back? Yep, that's pretty, so that would go really well. I always like to find themes or use themes in a different way to how they were meant to be. I've just seen this, love is in the air. That is so perfect. I wasn't as fussed with the hot pink, but that goes so well with this being a plain page. So I might actually use that instead i think that would be perfect i think i'm going to cut some of these strips out so this is the idea that i'm thinking about i'm thinking about attaching this to here right bear with me let's see if this works that needs to be cut down the center like that this then flips open let's get some more tape and we'll stick this on here I really hope this works because in my head it looks great this then flips up and this also closes perfect and let's tape that this side as well just to make sure that stays will that still flip up with that taped yes I think that will work fine. Let's add a little bit more just to make sure. Oh, I really like that. And then I've got a bit more space down there. That is so cute. And what I might actually do, the ideas are really flowing now. I might take some of this and use this as a little pocket as well. Um, let's add just about that much there. This could well be my new favourite paper collection. I'll leave the link below. I can't remember if I said that. It's so, so cute. And just a little bit. Oh, I need some thinner tape. I know. I've got some in my drawer. I'm just too lazy to get it. There. Let's pop that there. Wipe off the excess. And then I've got this. That looks so cute. You know how I feel though about things poking out, so that's not going to work. So I might stick that on there. Although I could actually put that on here. Yes, I like that idea. So this was us in the lounge. So we were going, just in case you haven't seen our Florida um, videos, I'll leave the link to our Disney channel down below. We were going to... Um, Orlando this was in January we went with two of our favorite friends and we had the most amazing time it was the first time that we were going with anyone other than our kids so it felt a real big deal and we met up with lots of other friends as well it was just so much fun that's working out really well I do want to use some tabs so I will do that I might actually add something for some journaling there um, travel day outfit, that's always a big thing for me. So I might actually find something to pop something on there. I might actually use this about my travel day outfit. Let's cut this out. Travel day outfit has become such a big thing in this house. It takes me ages to decide what I'm traveling in. Let's pop that like that, then I can journal around it. And... It is a big thing for me. Oh, actually, no, I was going to stick that on, wasn't I? Let's stick that there. It has to be comfy. It has to be practical. I've decided those leggings, as comfy as they were, they weren't a great travel day outfit. Just found that clip on my desk. I might just add that for the time being. They, I ended up feeling quite claustrophobic in them. They're quite thick leggings, so they weren't maybe the best choice. Let's pop that under there. that work yeah that works and then I could pop that on there although again I want the journaling I think I might actually add this but as a flip let's see if that works so I think the best outfit for a travel day is a dress a long dress actually and then this could flip up this could work really well 
flip out, flip up. No, that's not going to flip up because that needs to stick out. Right, I think, all right, I've had an idea. I would like to stick that in the middle there. Let's see if this works. This might not work and my battery is about to go. Let's pop this on here. I want to have enough space to journal so it's going to go over to one side. I might just get away with this and then what I'm thinking pop this like this I want the bottom of the card so we can then add it like that so rather than it just bit finishing like this I want it to look like it all belongs so I'm going to stick that on the end there do a little bit of operation work so I'm just going to run some tape along the bottom and then I will pop it on here. I mean, obviously, close up you can see, but if you just look normally, that just looks like it's meant to be. Um, so I think that would go really well. And then I'd like to add something on the back of that. I was just looking for some other paper and realised the other bit that I cut off actually is a really, really good size match. So let's make sure I pop this up the right way. And I'm going to stick this on here. If there's any little bits over the edge, I will just trim those. I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the other. Perfect. And to be honest, I haven't actually got that much hanging over and that makes then perfect space journaling both sides that does flip up slightly where I bent that so actually I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape and nobody will know you can hide anything under washi tape can't you look how cute this is actually going really well. I want to add some tabs as well. I've just seen some on the sticker sheet. We've got three tabs there. So that will work really well. I wanted to pop something on the back of this as well because if I'm pulling that out, I want that to match. And actually the memories, no, that's not gonna be large enough. So, which colour? I think I'm going to do the blue. Now, this isn't going to be quite large enough. So, again, the washi tape is going to come to the rescue. I am going to use some of this. Let's cut this down. Like that. But the top and bottom is... Um, let's make sure I've got this up the right way. The top and bottom wasn't quite large enough for the journal paper. So we're going to add washi tape top and bottom to hide the bits that it didn't quite reach. There, that looks really cute. You could even do it as a tag and like add a little hole in the top. I like that. But I'm going to go and grab some flour from the kitchen and I am going to use these um, tabs I think these are going to look super super cute so shall I have it on the side or at the top I think on the side like that I know other people have said to me before talcum powder works as well I know talcum powder works as well but I have to go upstairs to get talcum powder whereas the kitchen's in the room next to me so I'm just using flour and all that does is take the stickiness off so that works really well then I want one on there let's have happy on the top here like that that looks so cute I love having contrasting colors like that as well get some flour on the back there although actually do you know I'm actually going to use this one on the reverse because we're looking at it on both sides so there I think actually that works much better 
now I've still got to decide what actually the uh, that is going to go better there to hold that up that goes in there I've got to decide what to do with this one this one needs to be another flip doesn't it that would work best let's pop a little bit just for the time being in the corner like that perfect I like that this is all coming together really really nicely now got plenty of space for journaling I think I've got all my photos in as well now so now I think we can start having some fun with this page adding some stickers and that kind of thing because I see things when I was looking through and then I completely forgot what I've seen and what I was planning on doing this just makes me think of airmail which makes me think of the pet of the day so I wonder where this could go I quite like the idea of this maybe running along here it's underneath I never stick the photos down or anything down completely just to give myself a bit more flexibility this hasn't stuck down so well I didn't do that straight so let's straighten that up that looks cute I like that and actually let's pop this on here as well it just means that little theme continues throughout I like that and where else can we put this and let's put that down here like that oh again that hasn't gone on quite straight right what else have we got on here I saw there was something on here that made me think oh I wanted the love this let's have this down here oh I love the chevrons they are so nice I'd like to use the hearts there was something else it was we've got memories that will work out really well let's pop that on there the perfect day where can that one go that goes really well I have my favorite on the top with Aid and I oh it was the good times I thought this would be a really good one and you don't always have to put stickers on the correct way I've done that one sideways and I think that works really well and I also wanted to use something from here let's have the balloon and I really wanted the mile high tea wording as well I knew as soon as I took this off the tray on the plane that I would want to use it in my journal I'm not panicking about cutting it out perfectly I'm just doing my best and I'm not doing all the little complicated bits there either and I'm going to cut out the mile high tea no idea where I'm putting it yet I'm actually thinking I might pop that on there I think that would look really nice I would really like some journaling space along the bottom so I think I might just tear this and pop that down there that then gives me that space I could add some more stickers and I'm wanting to put travel day on here somewhere I'm wondering here about actually putting it down the side again remember what I said you don't have to have your letters up the correct way you can just play with them and see whatever suits you best I'm actually thinking I want a bit more of a statement I'm removing the lowercase and I'm just going to have uppercase I'm thinking these might need some sticky on them where I've got a little bit of a fold there from where I folded it they're not sticking quite so well as I would like but yeah I want a bit more of a statement I want it to be really bold and very noticeable so I'm going to have the large uppercase there 
uppercase and lowercase. I've ended up doing that. I would like something down here, but I don't know what. Let's go with a little bit of red. Like that. I like that. It's all about those contrasts. I was wanting some other embellishments. The coffee cups would be perfect just as they are as all four of us that were traveling that day love our coffee so that represents us really really well let's pop those on there sometimes that's all you need isn't it just something really cute like that let's do the same actually with these on the other side And then I think I'm ready to do my journaling. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go away, go away, do my journaling, come back, any more stickers, and then stick things in properly. Do I need a tab top on there? No, I think I'm going to stop that. Right, I'm pretty much done. I found a plain paper clip that I'm going to use to secure this. And I think that's it. I need to secure these bits and pieces in place that I only kind of like popped on temporarily like that just so that it's a bit more secure don't want to go losing bits this can go down here and then the plain clip can go on there so let's just check this out make sure that everything's finished so the plain clip comes off, that opens out. I've journaled down the bottom there. I've got the travel day outfit there. This by our number one lounge photo and the photo on the plane. Travel day there as well. And then this bit flips out on the plane there. I, am, I don't like the mask photos, but at the same time, I think it's a big deal because it's our first flight since covid and um it's a big part of what we were doing so i think it needs to be documented and then documented about the flight there and then a little bit more there and then we've got the journaling on the back so that's actually everything covered from our travel day i'm really pleased with that was wondering about a bit more of a title but to be honest I'm quite pleased with that and sometimes you do need a little bit of an empty space and considering that's quite a busy page I think that's just fine there I've just put that paper clip on there and actually I don't think that looks very suitable does it, it doesn't actually look like a plane anymore um yeah maybe that's not a good way to have that oh I tried to put it that way and it still doesn't look much better does it Oh, how can I do this so it looks like a plane? There. That looks a bit better. That yeah, looks a bit more tasteful now. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to hanging out with you in another journaling video very soon. Lots of love. Bye.